Now, here's another problem. When some people tell you one thing and some people tell you another and you read the whole Bible, right, you're going to get a different message than everybody else, too. Why? Right. They're not reading the whole thing. The Jews aren't. The Christians aren't. The Christians aren't focused on the old, but the new, right? The Jews are focused on the old, but only one they want to read. Though the Christians do try to use the old to prove Jesus, but not 100%, right? Now, basically, this is what Isaiah is saying, though, without adding any what we call adverbs into it. And female breasts or single female breasts, kings will suck, right? Do you understand what that means? Let's talk about a king sucking a woman's breast, right? <laughs> period, period. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, there's nothing wrong with the king sucking his wife's breast, by the way, anyway, man. you understand what the point is? <laughs> oh, no. So he's talking about sucking the milk of the Gentiles and single female breasts, kings will suck. Mm -hmm. With no pronouns, right? Or adverbs or whatever you call it. Um, now, it could say breast of kings. You will suck, right? Uh-oh, that changes the meaning. <laughs> no, no. That means kings with breast, you will suck, right? There are kings with breast, though. They're called hermaphrodites, right? And they're often made girls. <laughs> and they're often made girls. To look like girls externally, but internally they're hermaphrodites. Yeah. That's what the doctors are doing to handle it. <laughs> That's wrong too, pe pediatricians, right? Pediatricians are the ones usually dealing with that. <laughs> and they usually cut it off. <laughs> Do you want someone cutting off your privy member, if that's what they think that means? <laughs> I've read it all, right? But like I told you, anyone can misinterpret a book. Even me, even you, whatever it may mean, right? And the problem is, John does use the word mastoids, and you can't take away from that word being a feminine word. For a woman's breast, right? In Revelations chapter one, right? Mm -hmm. No one knew this about Jesus, according to Paul, too. Not even the princes of this world. Not princesses, princes, right? By the way, too, it's the men, right? who don't know the male and female are one in Christ Jesus and what that really means, right? We tend, I don't know, to think male or female, not male and female, from one body. We don't know about that anymore. I know. Now, here's the thing the demons or angels or whatever you want to call them, fallen ones, right, are doing to us, right? They're lying for one, right? They're bearing false witnesses against God that God wants us good and evil in the first place. God wants us good and loving like good and evil, right? <laughs> and to love each other and forgive each other, not judge and condemn each other because that's easy to do here, right? <laughs> We're more easily judgmental than we are and king on the mental right? than we are forgiving often, right? And all I'm trying to do is like any male born in the 80s, right? Is find a girlfriend to marry me if we have premarital sex or not, right? That's not considered bad, right? What is considered bad, though, is what you're doing to me and the girls I've been with, right? What you're doing to us. <laughs> it's called cock blocking, in other words, right? See, if you let me sleep with someone and I'm willing to marry them and yet you interrupt that part of the relationship or you make the girl think she has to sleep with me 
and then she wants to take matters into her own hands, right? Whatever's going on here, though, I'm not enticing any woman to sleep with me, right? Virgin or not, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm trying to wait for the right woman for me. And when a woman acts like something's going on, I'm not the one putting it in her head something's going on, right? If you are, you're making her paranoid about me and do the wrong thing, right? Not me, I know. You're influencing her, I know. Not me, not you. <laughs> I'm trying to tell her the truth. <laughs> See, if you're telling people they can't have premarital sex when they get, you're lying about it, right? You can't lie about it to save someone from it, right? That don't save nobody. That just keeps them in confusion or doing the same sin over and over again, right? That creates a loop in it too, right? Especially if you're trying to murder me since whenever, right? right? Over sex, over sex. Including the sex you're having, Johnny Morris. Or had with Leon. <laughs> now, I told you, the only one who could have told me is your friend David. I don't know nobody else around you, right? And I didn't really know you were dating her or not. But if you're ashamed of it, what the hell are you dating her for? If I'm telling something David told me, right? If he told me you're dating him, he didn't tell me I couldn't tell nobody. You understand, right? Or her. <laughs> he didn't tell me you would get mad about it or upset about it. I didn't know that, right? right? Even if I did tell somebody else, which, like I said, I know. Who are you more around and who am I more around? I'm more around David Maddox and Myron Zipper, right? You're more around David Pelham and your brother and y'all's family, right? I don't know nothing about you dating Lynn until David told me, actually, right? I keep trying to tell you that, too. I don't know nothing about that shit, right? But you won't listen, I know. See, stubbornness, Johnny, means you won't let something go that was true, right? It's not like I'm making it up, <laughs> right? That you were dating her and spreading a rumor. It's not true. It was true, right? Now, you can't blame someone if they weren't told there was, you know, not to tell anyone either, right? You didn't, I didn't know that until you got mad about it, right? And thought I'd told someone, right? <laughs> There's a difference there, too. You thinking I told someone and me actually telling someone, no, no. Big difference, big difference. <laughs> and there's a big difference between acting like I'm victimizing some of them and they're victimizing me, right? I'm just looking for a girlfriend, right? A normal girl, which I can't seem to find for some reason, right? Around here. Around here. <laughs> That's the point, too, right? We're all trying to date. We're all trying to find someone, whether you're gay, straight, bi. Even some of the people know, <laughs> right? The Lord made us male and female. Mm -hmm. And if you want a child, fine. If you don't, fine, right? You can be a unit for the Lord, too, which means you're a male who can have a baby but won't, right? Jesus never said you couldn't do that either, but don't be obsessed with it, right? Now, the problem is 144,000 are all supposed to be virgins, right? Me and any women, by the way, Jehovah's Witnesses, right? <laughs> we should make it at least double that. Mm -hmm. See, you're seeing the male and female as two, not one in Christ Jesus, right? You're still dividing us like Satan did in Eden, right? What do you think that was about? Dividing Adam from Eve, right? And making her Eve instead of Adam female. Mm -hmm. Their name, both of them, were simply Adam, right? Because Adam applied to 
both parts, halves of the whole, right? The whole was Adam and the two halves were Adam, right? When you make one from two, right, into two, right? They're both part of the same whole, right? You're dividing them, right? But what Satan did further is divide us mentally, right? And give us the carnal mind, the knowledge of good and evil, right? Now we have enmity with each other, the male and the female, because of the sin, right? Being sexual. Mm -hmm. The fruit of the body is also the egg the female re re releases, right? Once a month, right? That's the fruit of her body and the fruit of his body is the sperm, right? And they join together to become a child, right? And life does begin at conceptions, medical people and scientists and doctors and whatever, right? But again, right? An embryo is less to feel pain rather than the older the child gets. Even David's child was punished for David's sin, right? If a female don't believe in the Lord and she wants an abortion, it's the same thing as how David's child was handled, right? By the Lord, by the Lord. <laughs> and the prophet Nathan, right? He's the one who said the child would die for David's sin, right? With Bathsheba, right? And, uh, and David prayed for the child until it died, right? And then there's nothing more he can do. He knew it was going to die, right? Now, maybe he helped it. Maybe he was doing something to mess with Bathsheba about if the child was his or not. I don't know, right? See, it's also odd for a child to just die seven days later if it's a healthy born child, right? But Nathan still calls the death by his prophecy, right? Mm hmm. Do you understand what I mean? <laughs> He cursed the child, right? Didn't bless it, didn't bless it. To die within seven days after it was born. Because he murdered the child's father, or the husband of Bathsheba, right? You understand? There's something going on there, right? And David sent for Bathsheba, too, and is watching her bathe. And she's supposed to be purifying herself either after her period or something or whatever's going on. Right, usually, usually. Now, here's the thing. If it's after her period, she could be ovulating. Right? Now, the thing is, Uriah is in the battlefield, right? Now, that don't mean she's a virgin, right? <laughs> she's not a virgin, right? But seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, let us eat our own bread and wear our own apparel, only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach, right? Now, that's implication of two things, sex and marriage, sex and marriage. See, sex to conceive a child with somebody, this man, because they are having problems having a child. That's what the reproach usually is in the old. And the same word there was used by Rebecca, Rachel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rebecca and Sarah, in a way. They were both having problems conceiving. Right. Three women in the Jewish mm -hmm. lineage. Right. Sarah. Rebecca and Rachel were having problems conceiving with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? <coughs> Green eyed lady, ocean lady. Right. See, even in alien science, <laughs> right? The green eyed ladies are often RH negative, right? Now, here's the thing, though. Which is dominant, RH positive, RH negative, RH positive? Does that mean RH negative ain't in the blood group, though? Right. No, not necessarily. Right. 
You need two to make Rh negative, but one for Rh positive. Right. See, genes are dominant or recessive, scientists. Don't forget that. Right. That don't mean Rh negative wasn't around. It means it was being dominated by Rh positive genes. Right. Until more people reproduce who are Rh negative and Rh positive, right? You're not going to have an Rh negative baby, right? They're all going to be Rh positive, right? Okay, okay. Look at it now, right? Why do you think the Rh negative mother has a problem with the Rh positive baby, right? That's why too, right? But the baby's still Rh positive, see? And negative, right? You're not getting that part. <laughs> the dominant gene is already positive. The recessive gene is already negative, right? And like with blue eyes or brown eyes or green eyes or whatever, right? The color of the eyes is related to the parent and offspring of the mother and father. Now, Lisa Baker had red hair, but both parents had black hair. That means one had a recessive gene, right? Of baby Sandy Blonde, right? And the other red, right? See, there's one gene that's dominant over both, right? Red is dominant over blonde, and brown or black is dominant over brown, red, or blonde, right? And it's usually Sandy Blonde, not pure blonde, right? Unless you're an albino, and that's white hair, right? By the way, by the way. And even though you have an albino once in a while, that's still something mm -hmm, from a recessive gene that both the parents had without knowing they had it. Right. <sighs> but it's probably from an angelic source that you're having the albino child. Right. See, it's not from a normal male or female gene. Right. You know, I think we probably just had four basic eye colors. Brown, black, brown, green, and blue. Right. <laughs> Were the four original genes, right, for eye color. Right? If you know what I mean. Right. Most people only have those four eye colors. Any dark, almost blackish eyes. Brown eyes, which is a little lighter, green eyes, and then blue eyes, right? And I think those were the four original genes we had in the gene grouping, right? Between the parents, right? Mm hmm. Right. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Right. You do know, right? But the problem is, you're trying to blame me. Like, I don't have the right to find a girlfriend or something. Or supposed to know psychically someone's 15 or 37, right? You're putting all this on me like I'm a psychic from equal to Jesus. I never said that. You are. You are. <laughs> I'm trying to be like Jesus as we're all supposed to be like Jesus. Otherwise, you're being like the other guy, right? You only have two choices of someone you gotta be like, right? By the way, in the first place. So, no. Now, Jesus himself said he that is perfect is as the master, no, right? If you're a disciple of Jesus, you can be as the master, but you're still not the master. Right. There's only one master. <laughs> master. And that's Jesus, right? Now, the problem is people want a different master and pretend that master is going to do them better when he's doing them worse, right? And that other master is Satan, of course, right? He's the only other choice you got, right? And he's pretending he's a real choice when he's trying to drag you down to hell with him or death in the grave, right? Now, that's another thing. Death in the grave don't mean... He can destroy your spirit, but he can separate the spirit from the body, right? But by first doing it with his own body, right? Now, the first thing to die was the green algae bacteria, right? 
that was doing photosynthesis two billion years ago. Right. Now, mm-hmm. once things started dying with Satan, right, is causing the Earth to appear older, or the universe too, right, or it's happening, um, both quicker and slower than we think, right. It's a little of both because they're finding settlements that date back to before the time of Noah, even if you, I mean, Moses, even if you give each day a thousand years, which is 12,000 years total, right? Even if you were to do that, they're finding landmarks and temples that date back before that, right? So something's going on, right? See, Moses only knows what he saw around him, right, too, too. He, too, walks by sight, sometimes not by faith, right? That's why even he said there will come up a prophet after me, right? That's why the Muslims are using that, too, because the Catholics think they got it stitched with Jesus, but they don't, right? They're hiding certain things, right? And that's the problem, too. Most Christians are teaching the Catholic doctrine, not realizing it's from the Catholic Church, right? Most of the doctors we have, including the Trinity, is from the Catholic Church, right? And that's just focusing on the male side, right? And ignoring the female side like most carnal men do, right? See, that's being carnal about the woman. Yet, Paul said something that men want to use to suppress women, right? But he says, I would not have a woman to teach or have authority over the men. But the problem is there's two women in the Bible that contradict that, Deborah and Huldah, right? Deborah laid, led Baruch in the battle mm-hmm. against Caesarea, right? One of the captains of the Syrians or something, right? Well, Deborah was led by the Lord to lead Baruch into battle against them, right? And yet, Yael got the glory for the kill of the captain, right? Not a woman, not a man. <laughs> One king was so anti-female, right? That a woman dropped the stone on his head and he was about to die and he wanted his sword bearer to kill him right? before he died, right? <laughs> so it wouldn't be done, he was killed by a woman, right? But see, anything can kill you, male or female, male or female. <laughs> We're not immortal here, right? But Jesus can raise us from the dead, quick or slow. Quick or slow. <laughs> I think he's resurrect me quick, don't you? I don't know. Unless it took a whole hour to heal right? with the girl. You know? See, I don't know which it was. I just know I originally went in there to get my nails done and lost some time around her and then came to at some point, right? During mm-hmm, my visit to the store for the first time, right? And the only month I don't remember exactly what day I went in the store is December when the man did my nails. The woman did it in November. Mm-hmm. Who said she was 37, right? The last time I went in there was just to use number two and use the bathroom real quick while coming from Walmart because I'm having to walk around, right? My, I couldn't keep up. Um. Vehicle calls of the rat, right? I couldn't afford it. Mm-hmm. And then I was having to use the, um, what you call it? Mm-hmm. The bus, right? And the uh, disabled, the, the disability services, right? The another thing you're not wanting to hear is the disability is not my idea, but the Navy's idea, right? You can't just shut that off, Judge. Like, it's not a real thing, because you don't like that it gives me the freedom to make the mistake, right? 
See, that's what you're trying to do too, right? The schizophrenia gives me a, a mental excuse if I just met the girl and she did something awkward that day, right? Even lying about her age, I know. That gives me an excuse if she did, right? But I wouldn't know till after if she did as well. Mm -hmm. Even if she did it more than once, I say three times during the hour, right? She also tried to seduce me and black me out, right? But it's not because I was warning her about me. I'm trying to work with her. Mm -hmm. If she was 15 or 37, right? Thing is, I didn't know her, right? But someone else knew about her working in the store and was pretending that's warning me about it when they knew what store she was working in too, right? See, if you don't tell me the final piece of the puzzle, right, and you're leaving out two big pieces of the puzzle, right, like, for instance, if you know her name, too, right, see, that's going to make me think she's really 37 and hitting on me or something, right, because I'm looking for a girlfriend. <laughs> and I have had women that suddenly have interest in me and had sex with me before, right, Right? I don't try to do that all the time. Right? But what do you think they're doing in the 60s and 70s? They're having sex, getting the girl pregnant, and then get married. Right? Which is what Moses said to do if you have premarital sex. Right? Not the church. The church is calling premarital sex for an occasion when Moses never did. Right? See, the problem with the law is you can't assert the law either, right? In other words, like Jesus said, right? You're trying to teach for doctrine the commandment of men, right? And trying to control who a woman can be with. See, that's about controlling the woman and her sexual freedoms, right? And who she can choose to be with. And tell her that she don't have the right to choose, right? Her partner, right? <laughs> or her lover for the night, right? You can't do that either, either, right? If someone picks me up and I have sex with them, right, right, and they consent or let me or don't say no, right, I'm seducing them at that point and they're consenting, right? Yes is yes and no is no too, right? Like with the Comcast girl, I don't remember what happened, but I know she came to the door and I got caught her before she left, right? Now, I lost enough time to either her fix the cable or to have sex with me, right? I'm not sure which she did, though, right? <laughs> but she's also the only one who's supposed to be there, right? So what happened, happened between a 20-minute period again, right? Like fast times are rich, right? Maybe a little bit more, right? And, right, her supposed to be fixing the cable, and I'm not expecting a female mm, to show up, and, right, I was half dressed before and after the 20 minutes, too, right? I was in the same clothing I was even after she got here, and I don't remember what happened then, but I caught her before she left and put on some shorts and went outside, right? Because I was expecting someone to come by, right? Just not a female, normally, normally. And with her, I lost about the same amount of time, right? Or a third, two-thirds less, right? Then with, again, mm -hmm. Michelle, that or can nail salon, right? But see, what you fail to realize is you're just looking at the ages difference, right? You're not looking at compatibility. You're not looking at, right, am I really trying to be with an underage girl? No, no. You're forcing that issue, right? Yes, you are, uh -huh. How many underage girls have you set me up with it and none of them are saying nothing? Huh? <laughs> Is that what you're saying otherwise? Right. Because, see, any girl around me right, during the day don't usually try to have sex with me. Right. 
that's more normal for me. Very. Right? The only way they might could is if they come to the house or the trailer I was living in or the apartment or the whatever, right? And seduce me while I'm half away, right? And then leave and then leave. And they try to fuck me, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and even then, I'm going to let it be on top because I don't know what's exactly going on, right? And I also don't remember if it happened either. See, if you start spreading the rumors to the girls I'm a pedophile and they're underage, what do they think about that? Are you asking them that question either? How do they feel about that? And what do you think they're thinking about that? See, they're going to see me like any teenage girl will see any older man, right? Most of them would prefer an older man, you know what I mean? <laughs> Even in Fast Times at Rachel High, right? Her first time was with the older dude, but she lied to the dude about her age, but we found out about age, she had to quit eating it, right? See, I know all that too, right? <laughs> I also know not to go after any underage girls during the day. I don't. I don't. If I did, I would get in trouble for it before now, idiot. <laughs> So I call you an idiot. Right. I'm not the one going after underage girls. I'm not going after anybody because I don't feel like I'm even date right now. Right. I'm not having no woman during the day even approach me like she likes me. <laughs> and I see that too, so I'm still just waiting. Right. And you don't know how long we have to wait. You're being paranoid. You're trying to murder people in Jesus' name when he don't want you murdering each other. That's the problem. <laughs> Satan does. Satan does. See, murder is where you're setting someone up, too, and they didn't know what was going on, but then you try to take advantage of them anyway. Right. You're taking advantage of me there. Right. Not me, her, don't you? She is, too. Right. See, whatever you're showing her, you don't know how she's seeing it, right? Or what she'll do about it herself when I get into the store, right? <laughs> and that's where it changed whatever was going to happen that day, right? For me, too, right? I'm still having a plan of seeing Terminator or Harriet, right? I'm not worried about her yet, right? Until I get into the store, and immediately I'm attracted to her, right? That happens all the time, right? But usually, right, unless the girl acts like she wants me, right, that's all I do, right, is I'm attracted to someone, but nothing happens usually, usually, right? Nine out of ten times, right? <laughs> nothing normally happens, right? Now, if I'm only with 17 adult women, those adult women suddenly picked me up. I know. And I wasn't expecting that either, but I went with it, right? right? I was getting me something, right? They were getting them something, right? Whatever the situation was, right? And like I said, some of them, it wasn't really about the money because of them, but they were around a man who wanted some money, right? Again, or left them with their money, like I said, right, right? And she was at the McDonald's, probably wants something to eat, huh? I don't know. <laughs> she only wanted a 20 for sex. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's just lunch money, you know? <laughs> right. I can give her a little lunch money. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> right, right. I'm not trying to seduce her, but hell, she's coming on to me. And I'm just going with it, going with it. <laughs> and she's pissed off with her man probably for leaving her there with the money. Right? <laughs> Don't stay. Right. All it took was a 20. Now, one girl probably had a man trying to fuck her or get, give him money to stay with him. Right. And she got a 20 from me. Right. So he must have wanted a 15 or something. Or to fuck him. Right. <laughs> usually, usually. But she fucked me instead. You know what I mean? <laughs> And I went with that, right? <laughs> Sometimes you just want a piece of mm. 
People do that too now, right? <laughs> I don't always do that. I'm more relationship minded, right? Anyway, anyway. But I have taken it on the run, baby. <laughs> but that's the point, right? If that's the way you want to, baby, then I don't want you around. Or feel like making love. And that's the point, right? <laughs> I'm still more trying to make love to the girl, too, than seduce her and dump her and never see her again, right? So you're trying to put the way you see sex and relationships in my head, and I don't even understand how you see it, right? right. At all, at all. <laughs> I don't. I don't. You see things as so black and white, right? I don't even understand what you're talking about, right? <laughs> or how you even see things, right? I also think, again, you're putting up the girl to be so paranoid about me, she both had sex with me and then tried to black me out herself, right? Same with the Comcast girl. She consented, but then blacked me out before Ruth. But probably used one of my workout sticks or something. <laughs> and I still recovered quickly and caught her before she left my driveway. Right. Now, I didn't mean to really do that and put her under that kind of pressure, but I'd probably try to explain it, too, if I did. And she went along with it. But it still wouldn't be rape if she consented. I do know that yes or no. and I usually tell them if you don't want to do nothing, you can say no at any time or stop at any time, right? See, that's the problem there, too. The girl has to complete the sex act with me if mm -hmm, we had sex or not. Not me trying to just pick up a girl randomly on the street, right? See, even then, the problem with that is the girl has to want to be with you, right? Or think she has to be with you or actually try to be with you, right? You can tell reciprocation or not, right? Usually, too, right? She would also have to take me to a different part of the store to have sex with me, either the bathroom or wherever they get the monitoring equipment for the cameras, right? And all I know is another girl was there, right, who I didn't really recognize, right? But she was pregnant, too, right? When I first went in, right? Like, she kind of appeared out of thin air. Mm -hmm. The pregnant girl. Mm -hmm. And then when I went back the third time again, right? But we're not even talking. I went to sleep last night around 11 p.m. again, right? Now, mm -hmm. I woke up around between around 2 five and then I got up officially a little after around that right so right now it's mm, almost 11 right I've only been up a few hours right I tried to do the curls again working on my arms right at least right and then my back started hurting so I quit doing that right and I've been sitting here uh, going over the videos responding to the idiots again and explaining my point of view, right? See, that's another thing Jesus lets me do, even if you don't understand it, explain your point of view. Now, you're trying to tell me I'm raping someone or statutory raping someone. Well, that person had to act like they wanted to be with me or I wouldn't have been with them, right? And say yes, because I'm going to ask them, can we have sex? Do you want sex with me, right? If she says yes and has sex with me, is that my fault if she says you're 37? No. Right. No. No. <laughs> I'm going to go with it. That's called going with the flow as well. I know. Especially knowing since the 60s people have been having 
safe that way for a while, right? That's almost three decades, right? It didn't die down until the AIDS scare anyway. Mm. If you know what I mean, people are still having premarital sex, right? Your job ain't to stop that. Your job is to forgive them, by the way, right? You can't control who people want to have sex with, not gay, straight, bi, right? Or G or whatever they want to do, right? They can still do that, right? They just got to find some secret place and I'll be in on it, you know what I mean? <laughs> but they can still do it, why, right? Grace don't judge you automatically when you make a mistake, right? It gives you time to repent, right? You're going to make mistakes too here. If you think you're not, you're above everybody else. If you're thinking you are, you're really not, right? That's another problem. That's called haltiness or high-mindedness. You think because you're happily married with a woman, right? You're doing all right when you don't know how she feels, right? You might be treating her worse than you think. <laughs> In her opinion, right? You're not even asking her anymore how she feels about things or what her mindset is. You're trying to follow a doctrine from an evil man, right? Who isn't showing you the whole Bible, right? Because he don't understand it himself, right? That's the problem, too. Most people read the Bible don't understand the Bible because it's written in Old English, in from Hebrew to English, and is interpretable. Mm hmm See, if I say Vashad Melikim Dinoch. That means something in the Hebrew. Mm -hmm. But what it actually means, only a Hebrew person can tell you what it means. So no. <laughs> Vashad, though, is female breasts. Right. When you suckle it as a child. Right. Kings, that was an adult king ruling over a community, right? More than one, too. Okay, and then Thekin, Thenoch is supposed to mean you will suck, you know? And that's what they said it meant to the interpreters of the King James Version of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Right. And before that, I don't know, it's saying Thenoch not the not using the T. Mm -hmm. Then Kalab, which is milk, and then Goyim, which is again the nations, right? No, it's not Ha Goyim, right? It's Goyim, nation, nation. Or Gentiles or Gentiles. See Goy or Gay mm -hmm. is a Gentile. One. Mm -hmm. Hey Gay was one of the units serving around Solomon's time, right? That was his name. Hey, gay. Mm -hmm. What would that mean in the Hebrew? Behold, Gentile. Mm -hmm. Or behold, foreigner. Or behold, hey means behold, right? Gay or goy, right? G O Y or G A Y, however you want to say it. <laughs> and it don't mean he's a gay man either, right? That's what they called foreigners, right? Now, if you're an Israelite, right? Or a Yisraelite, <laughs> to say it more correctly. Now, Ye is again my, Sar is prince, and El is God. Do you understand what that could mean? <laughs> my prince, God. No, my prince, God. <laughs> Sara is princess. So, Ye, Sara, El. <laughs> Is my princess God. <laughs> but L he H Y is also used right. Again for my God or right again. <laughs> but it has the H too, right? Wait a minute. L E is my God. L he and uh H Y means what? Mm -hmm. It's not hey. There's no hey. There's no hey. Hey, is this H Aleph, right? Or H N Y? H N Y. Mm. For behold, for behold. There's two ways to do it, but it's either H N Y or H Aleph, right? 
<laughs> but I'm reading it even now. Right? I'm studying into it even now. Studying to show yourself to prove unto God, right? A workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth, which means you could also wrongly divide it, right? Deep down that too, right? We're making mistakes because we're trying to follow a bunch of different set of rules all over the country. Every man is picking and choosing his own rules, right? When you do that, you're going to have people who do good things, evil things, horrible things, and normal things, right? You're going to have that all over the country because everybody's trying to follow their own set of rules, too, right? They're making them up as they go along, right? Well, when you do that and you're doing things you shouldn't be doing or shouldn't be doing, you're convincing yourselves to do it that way. Mm -hmm. By your own set of rules, right? And usually you make them up as you go along. <laughs> Don't you? Right. That's why the mental illness helped me in that I didn't know the girl was even working in the store. You didn't tell me that part, right? Even if you need, right? See, you can't make what you know what I know because it's not the same, right? I don't know the same way you do, right? I don't know her at all, right? I don't even know who you're talking about. I don't even know who you are, right? I'm a man and not God, right? Anoki L. Loish. <laughs> the prophet ain't saying that because he's claiming to be God, right? He's claiming I'm a man and no God. <laughs> it's actually Anoki Ish Lo L. <laughs> to say it correctly, right? I know. <laughs> But the way the prophet saying what he means is he's speaking for the Lord, right? Anoki El Loish, right? God is saying that through the prophet, right? But the prophet ain't claiming to be God or not a man, right? God is claiming to be God and not a man. <laughs> but the problem is if he's saying he's not a man, what is he then? Right. We're only male or female in it, right? The only other answer is he's both, right? As Paul pointed out, right? And John too, right? John's using different metaphors. Right? His metaphor is the door. Jesus said, I'm the door, right? His metaphor is he that has the bride is the bridegroom, right? Well, what do you think all that means, right? He's trying to say something there about the Messiah that you didn't know either, right? And you're not quite getting it either, right? Yet, also, this man might can take hold of seven women and they call upon his name to take away their reproach. Right? Does that sound like what we all do to take on Jesus' name to take away our sins and reproaches? Right? Male or female, male or female. And some of the reproaches are having a baby or a baby for men finding the right life. Right? We're all dealing with that. <laughs> Some want a husband of her life. Some want another wife instead of a husband. Right? What you gonna do about all that? There are too many people on the planet that you can't even control all that. Right? See, that's another thing a law does is it makes you think you can control people when you can't. Right? The law don't stop you from doing these things. Right? Just by writing it on a piece of paper. Right? The people have to not want to do these things for it to stop them. Right? If they want to do it, they'll find a way to do it. Right? That's why you got to deal with pedophiles today, right? They're finding a way to do it. <laughs> and I don't know who's on my butt about it, but I wonder if they're the pedophile and not me and not you. <laughs> the way they're at, they're, they're gay or something, they're trying to hide it. Right. Whatever it is they're doing wrong, they're trying to make me seem like I'm worse than them, right? That's also what they can do if they're in the position of power over me. Right. Or I don't know who they are. They're more trusted than me. Right. That's still quid pro quo, by the way, too, too in a way. Mm -hmm. It's like how, what I was dealing with on the ship. Right. Again, right. Hear the truth or lie. Mm -hmm. 